Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 53-year-old female with complaints of chronic right-sided hip pain. And her MRI and this uh, open MRI looks pretty good. There's no um, evidence of arthropathy. There's no marrow edema. The um, right femur does show one finding here, a little synovial herniation pit. This is just the synovium at the head and neck junction, which is infolded into the into the uh, marrow cavity there. And this is just a benign thing. We see these all the time. We just blow them off as benign synovial herniation pit. Again, they're anywhere along the head neck junction, so normal. The patient did not have a labral tear, so we're kind of wondering what is going on here. If we put up the axial images, we can see the hamstring tendon origin here on the right. Here's the ischium, ischial tuberosity, and this dark band is the hamstring tendon. You see it here, come up, 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 and attach. Looks perfect, so it looks good. If we roll on up, we're going to look for the piriformis. Find that thing. Here it is right here, piriformis muscle, neurovascular structures along the front. Make sure there's nothing going on there. Sciatic nerve comes in through here. There's no hernia, no other findings, but there was one thing. If you roll up and down, it's easy to jog past. I'm going to roll up. And down. And if you don't look for this specifically, it's just super easy to jog right past. So on the left hand side here, this is the lesser trochanter of the femur. And on the left hand side, we see the ischial tuberosity. In between them, we see this little muscle here. This is the rectus, um, I'm sorry, the quadratus femoris muscle over here. And the quadratus femoris comes right in between these two bones. And this space is narrowed here. This can cause impingement on the right hand side. We don't see the muscle at all. And we see that the uh, bones are very, very close. This is way too close. This is the right lesser trochanter. Here's the right ischial tuberosity. Hamstring tendon origin in the space is very, very narrowed. And the quadratus femoris muscle here is atrophy, is pure fatty atrophy. So if you're going through this, you say, oh, it looks pretty normal, it looks pretty good. But you had to really stop and look at this. Is this narrowed? And is the muscle edematous, or in this case, fatty atrophy? So this is the most prominent finding in this patient, and I believe it's what's causing their pain. We call this ischiofemoral impingement with narrowing here and then pinching of that muscle. And then again, it can lead to edema and or uh, eventually atrophy. And that's it. Thank you very much.